next we have Kun Lee. He's gonna. He, he told me he likes music, but he's gonna tell you a little bit about something else he likes. So he's working on uh, some interesting problems, saving lives, mm. saving babies. Yes. Give it a round of applause. All right. Space bar. Okay. Uh, just this year, California went through yet another tragedy, um, causing billions of dollars in damages, loss of homes, loss of life, displaced families. Um, every year in this side of the coast, for as long as I can remember, this tragedy occurs on repeat. I see and hear about emergency responders responding to these situations, and more often times than many, Time is not on our side. I see and hear about what happens after the fact, and that is troubling. The imagery that I see being captured in media depicts what literally looks like hell on earth. As an engineer, I desire a logical solution to combat this problem. So let's take a step back. I'm interested in finding out how to increase situational awareness because the sooner you obtain awareness, then the sooner you can respond. The sooner you can respond, then the more options you have on the table. And the more options you have, then the better opportunity you have to make saving life decisions. Um, so let's face it, a spreading fire left unchecked waits for nobody. So how do we go about changing parameters to increase this awareness? We have the necessary maps and GIS and spatial data to determine where these events happen. However, we usually get this data, like I said, after the fact. But what if we could get this data in real time? What if we can improve our timing of realization and awareness? What if we could get a glimpse of what spatial data look like in the infrared in real time and report to us things like areas in trouble, rate of spread, homes affected, homes at risk, and maybe calculate a logical risk priority of where to put fires out, because let's face it, human beings themselves are really slow at calculating. Could you imagine what we could do with just that as it is happening? Man often becomes what he believes himself to be. If I keep on saying to myself that I cannot do a certain thing, it is that I may end by really becoming incapable of doing it. On the contrary, if I have the belief that I can do it, I shall surely acquire the capacity to do it, even if I may not have it at the beginning. Gandhi said this. I think he said this because he made these particular observations, made sense of it, believed in it, and then finally stated it. You know, technologically, we're not that far away from actually this kind of awareness and decision making via AI, machine learning, and or pattern recognition. Just in 2017, there have been over 3,000 recorded shootings in Chicago, and that does not include the shootings that haven't been reported. If you were to take every recorded shooting in Chicago this year, and punch the hole on a paper map for every shooting, almost all of Chicago would be blotted out. You'd literally be missing the south side and the west sides because they'd be on the floor as confetti. So with all the data that we can collect on each shooting, specifically the where, the when, you still have to deal with the case that this data is conceived only after the fact, which is generally too late for the victim. So yes, we're able to at least discern where gun violent crimes are most concentrated, but how do you capture that in real time and respond possibly fast enough to actually maybe even save a victim's life before they bleed out? Or even possibly catch an assailant or suspect guilty of the crime? Interestingly enough, when I was coming up with the topics and use cases for this talk, I spoke of it to my boss Jay Schwan over at Solstice. He enlightened me to the fact that an active software system was in development and deployable for emergency responders, utilizing sensors, IoT, GIS, and cloud-native technologies to create situational awareness 
of what's going on in real time. So there's no question that we have the tools and infrastructure to make these things happen, mostly because they are happening. Some of those tools can be leveraged from what we already know within the Spring ecosystem, Spring Boot, Spring Cloud Streams, Spring Cloud Dataflow, to name a few. And then tools that can be leveraged for near real-time messaging and processing, Apache Kafka, Apache Spark, RabbitMQ, to name a few, and then a robust scalable platform such as Pivotal's Cloud Foundry to put it all on. And then an accurate account of spatial data as a source of truth. But most importantly, what's needed is advocacy and increased usage. With the use of these tools and related building blocks, it is not outside the realm of possibility to achieve systems capable of quickly communicating situational awareness. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.